You call it, casted her born baby into the river bank as inspired by Allah. Because she was terrified, she asked her daughter Maryam. Maryam, go after the box and watch the movement of your brother. Then come back and tell me. وأصبح فؤاد أم موسى فارغا إن كادت لتبدي به لولا أن ربطنا على قلبها لتكون من المؤمنين وقالت لأخته قصيه فبصرت به عن جنب وهم لا يشعرون It's the Pharaoh's palace. Oh Allah, oh Allah, save my brother. Save him from the unjust people. Moses reached the Pharaoh's palace. His sister watched on him. Look girls, look over there. What is this? A box? Why is it here? Let's fetch it. Let's open it and see what is inside. Be careful. Maybe there is something dangerous inside that may harm us. What do you mean by that? There may be a snake or something like that. Or there may be a treasure, gold or valuable things. If you open the box, then give it to our master. They will accuse us of stealing something from it. Yes, you are right. Let's wait and open it in front of my lady. Let's go to our lady. Lady Asiya is coming. Everyone stand steady. Bring this box to me and open it. Open it. But your majesty, I'm afraid there might be harmful things inside. It's better to wait till some guards come. Open this box. It's a boy. I have already loved him. He is brown, your highness. But attractive. I can't take my eyes off him. See, I felt there is something beautiful inside the box. My heart has never been attracted to anyone, but for this boy. فالتقطوا آل فرعون ليكون لهم عدوا وحزنا. إن فرعون وهامان وجنودهما كانوا خاطئين. I want total oppression and cruelty on the Israelites. Kill their babies in their mothers' wombs. Why waiting for their birth? Maybe there are girls inside their mothers' wombs. Kill the baby girls as well. I hate all the Israelites, both men and women. What did the Kuhan tell you? Lady Asiya has found a baby in the Nile. Kill him immediately. What's wrong with you, soldiers? We, We will take, take the, the boy. boy. Who ordered you? My lord, the Pharaoh. What are you going to do with him? We, We are, are going, going to kill him. Who will allow you to do that? Me, I'm the great pharaoh and the king of Egypt. All these men for killing this helpless baby who can't even feed himself? Kill him. Wait. Are you disobeying me? I have never disobeyed your orders. So, what do you want? Let's talk privately so no one can hear us. Please, give me this chance. Please, let him live. Let him live and I die. Is this your gratitude to me? The interpretation of your dream says that the boy who will perish your kingdom is from the Israelites, doesn't it? Yes. How do we know that this boy is from the Israelites or not? He is probably from the Israelites, so he must die. Dear husband, we have no children and we have been suffering since we got married. Both of us know that. What do you mean? I mean, why do you consider the boy a curse on you and your kingdom? He could be a blessing from heaven for us to make up for not having children. 
What heavens are you talking about? I'm here with you and the Grand Kuhn. All the gods are blessing me. Leave him alive. Perhaps he may be of benefit to us or we may adopt him as a son. He will be totally grateful to you if he is raised here in front of you. Leave him. He is good for us. He is good for you, but not for me. Does this mean you'll leave him to me? Leave him. Haven't you heard? He said leave him. وَقَالَتِ امْرَأَةُ فِرْعَوْنَ قُرَّةُ عَيْنٍ لِي وَلَكَ لَا تَقْتُلُوهُ لَا تَقْتُلُوهُ عَسَى أَن يَنفَعَنَا أَوْ نَتَّخِذَهُ وَلَدًا وَهُمْ لَا يَشْعُرُونَ Thank Allah, I can't believe my son will live in the Pharaoh's palace and his wife will take care of him. My heart rests in peace now. Our son is protected by Allah. What's wrong with him? Why can't he stop crying? I guess he is hungry and must be fed. So, go get a wet nurse. Get a wet nurse and make her come every day. You must feed him well. He is the son of the Pharaoh's wife. I will fill his stomach with milk. No one is more important than Lady Asiya's son. He moves his face away from your breast. I wonder why. You said he has not been suckled since morning. We have found him this morning. This means probably he hasn't been fed since yesterday. Let me try again. He refused again. He is a strong boy. I'll tell my lady what happened. What happened? The baby refused the wet nurse's milk. Let her go and get another one who can feed him. All right, my lady. This witness is the most famous in all Egypt. Her breast has always been full of milk for years. Let's begin. This baby has suffered a lot. How odd. He is still refusing. What must we do, my lady? Shall we go and fetch another witness? And what if he refused her? I don't know, my lady. By sunrise of new day, I want all the wet nurses in the whole country to be present in the palace. As you order, my lady. I feel pain in my heart. My son has been hungry since morning. I can't feed him. Calm down, you cabot. There is nothing we can do. Let's begin. He refused. The next, come in. Refused. 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 What must I do to save this child from death? Can I tell you who is capable of feeding him? Who are you? How did you enter here? I'm from the Israelites. I have been cleaning the palace over there since yesterday. I saw you in confusion. I want to help. I know a good wet nurse. Will she be different from the others? I guess so. Let's give it a try. Maybe it works out this time. Do you agree, my lady? Yes, rush and bring her. My lady, this is the woman I told you about. Who is she? She... she is my mother. Um, I see. She is from the Israelites. Yes, yes. All right, try to feed him. What's the matter? Why are you crying? So, Moses was restored to his mother so that she might be delighted and not be grieved. She must know that the promise of Allah is true. وَحَرَّمْنَا عَلَيْهِ الْمَرَاضِعَ مِنْ قَبَلُ فَقَالَتْ هَلْ أَدُلُّكُمْ 
فقالت هل أدلكم على أهل بيت يكفلونه لكم وهم له ناصحون فرددناه إلى أمه كي تقر عينها ولا تحزن كي تقر عينها ولا تحزن ولتعلم أن وعد الله حق ولكن أكثرهم لا يعلمون. What do I do now? I must pay back my debt, but not a single ship risks traveling. Hmm, what is this huge log? Ah, good idea. Great, there, done. Now all that remains is to write the letter. This money, which is a thousand dinars of gold, shall be handed over to Ariel from Bani Israel, in the south of the outskirts of the city, in fulfillment of an old debt. Okay. Now I need to seal the plank. Yeah. <clears throat> Wonderful. Ah. Uh. O oh God, I entrust my money to you alone, O oh Lord. He threw the plank into the sea in the midst of the storm. The plank floated in the water in the midst of the high waves with a thousand dinars inside and a letter showing the address of the creditor with the money. What did you say? A thousand dinars were thrown into the sea? I did not throw it into the sea, my wife. But I put it inside a plank and closed it tightly. And what's the difference? Do you think the plank would reach the creditor and knock on his door? I had no other way to repay the debt on time. Is your conscience clear about what you did? I don't know. By God, O oh Abrasha, did I do well to trust in God? Or did I act foolishly and hastily? Do you want my opinion? Of course. You haven't returned the money yet, and you have to work hard to collect it again and give the man his money in his hand as he did to you. True, but in any case, I will be late for my promise and fall short of honoring the man who honored me. May God forgive me. إن الله يأمركم أن تؤدوا الأمانات إلى أهلها وإذا حكمتم بين الناس أن تحكموا بالعدل إن الله نعم ما يعظكم به إن الله كان سميعا بصيرا What a cold weather the wind is coming from the north. I voluntarily lent my money to a man I think is honest. Of course. Perhaps he was prevented from returning the money by some accident or misfortune? Maybe. I will go to the seashore. Perhaps I find a ship that has returned or a messenger who will bring me news from him. Uh. Don't forget to bring wood so we can light a fire on the cold night. I will, I will, God willing. The wool we brought from here is of good quality. I have completed work today, thank God. And I sold all the women gowns you gave me. How much money did we collect? More than 500 dinars. Oh, we still have a long way to go. Rest assured, dozens of women want to buy more gowns, but want them decorated with patterns and colors. The important thing is that we collect a thousand dinars to compensate for what we lost in the sea. Yes, we shall be relieved from the burden of loan. How are you, Mr. Ariel? I'm fine, thank God. I really think that Yaram will get you your money back. Yes, I think he has honor and honesty. Ha <laughs> ha Oh, poor soul. Honesty and decency is nowhere to be found. Ever since the departure of our prophets, Moses and Harun. Incorrect. Good manners exist in all ages and times. As an optimistic man, this is my advice to you. It seems that the man is right. No ship can sail in this storm.
Thank God we collected a thousand dinars and more. Let's catch that ship. Hello, sir. Okay. Please take a ride. You again, Mr. Elsha? Are you going to the south? Yes. Where are your heavy goods? I sold it all, and I will not give you more than the fare of two riders. I know the reason for your eagerness to come back. What is it? You want to return your debt to its owner. Yes, all I hope is to find him alive and that he may not be harmed by my delay. Forgive me, Mr. Ariel. Forgive you for what? By God, I have endeavored to search for a boat to bring you your money, but I have not found a boat before the one I came in. My money? But you already gave it back to me. How? God has given it back on your behalf. Uh, I don't understand what you're saying. I will tell you everything. I was at the seashore waiting for a ship to bring you or a messenger from you. As for me, I advise you not to stay long in this cold weather, so as not to catch cold. <laughs> it seems the man is right. No ship can navigate this storm. But what is this? What is this floating plank? Ah, it's what I need to start a fire with. This is enough wood. Great wood, I'll make a fire with it. Wait, who fire up? What is this? Oh God! One, two, three, four? Wait, wait until I read the letters that come with the dinars. Return of the loaf from Yarm? Ah! Oh. What is in the message? Why are you crying, my husband? What are you reading? These are my thousand dinars, returned to me by the one who borrowed it across the sea. Take it and read it for yourself. God has given you your loan. Wow, the plank reached you across the sea and this money has also reached you. You owe me nothing. This thousand dinars belong to you. My money has reached me. Thank God. How honorable are you, O oh God? We trusted in God and the best of the reliance is the one on Him indeed. And He has honored both of us.